Hey, what's up, everybody? So today we're going to go over live looping. And this first method in this first part of this series is on clip looping, um, which I believe might be the most immediately apparent way to loop with Ableton Live. Um, and I'm putting these videos together so that hopefully over the next course of the, the releases of these, that you'll have one of those aha moments where whatever kind of live looping you want to do fits in with the kind of set that you've put together. Let's talk about the core concept first. And you already know how to record a, a clip, but the, the idea is to try to record a clip in music, uh, recording a clip musically. Let's just go ahead and, and just go over that real fast. Like, so I've got a clock, I'm arming my first track, and because my quantization is to a bar, if my clock is running, all I have to do is hit this, you know, this record clip button right here, uh, any point between one and four counts, and on the downbeat of the next count, it's going to start recording, okay? And then I also want to musically try to hit that on the way out so that it loops perfectly. So that's the concept. So here we go. And I'm going to launch this. Right? And then I, I, I click that. And it's going to play perfectly. But I got this little edge, this, this end of, of, of no audio. And, and you know, so, so potentially your process, at least up to this point, has been to just drag this back and now you have a perfect loop. So, so what are the issues that we're, that we're dealing with here? Well, what, you, what we need to do is try to figure out how to do this musically. So making a MIDI controller accessible to your fingers right away is super important. So I'm going to try that again. And this time, um, I want to point out that I have a MIDI controller right here that has a arm button for the tracks to select them. And then a button that a button that's mapped to the uh, what's known as the track launch button, which basically what that means is that any track that's selected in blue right here, any track that's selected will, if I hit the track launch button, will will launch either the recording or the playing of that clip. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little performance uh, and go through all of this so I can show you like what's possible and then we'll break it down at the end.
So yeah, you pretty much get the idea. Um, what I want to focus on now is is how this is done in a musical way and in a quick way. Um, so the first thing that you might notice is, well, Anthony, I can hear the click track and so can the crowd. Like, how, you know, that's not going to work. I don't want them to hear that tick tock tock all the time. Well, I made a whole other video about how to route the cue the cue output and how to use the cue output so that the crowd never hears it and you actually uh, just route it to your sound card, route it to your headphones, route it to your bandmates. You know, staying in sync with Ableton Live is super easy, actually. And if you want to know more about that, just watch that video. So that's the cue out. Um, that takes care of the timing issues. Now, in terms of, of MIDI mapping, let's go ahead and look at what's going on. Um, again, I have one MIDI mapping. One, two, three, right here. These are mapped to the arm switches, okay? Uh, so that's just these three keys here on my on my MIDI keyboard. And then the other mappings are done, one, two, three, right here on the, uh, the what, what's known as the track launch button, which if the track is selected to arm and there's no clip in that area, it'll start recording that clip. If there is a clip in that area, it'll play that clip, okay? So, so, so you know, where I'm at is if I just arm a track and then in time hit my, my key before the next count goes down, it'll start launching that clip, it'll start recording. Now, I also have my guitar plugged into my sound card, right? And I have the same mappings going on here. Uh, track arm down here at the bottom and then track launch right here at the top. So that's key one and key six if you can see that. Um, and that's how I do that. Um, the final mapping that I have is just for the fun of it, I decided to do two different parts. and. You know, a lot of people will say, well, you know, having a, a robust looping, live looping setup requires a person to have the ability to write multiple parts. And yes, I absolutely agree. And so what we're doing here, the way that we can organize our clips is we have a scene launch button. So this scene launch button, when I hit it here, launches the first scene, launches the second scene. Okay, so that's all that that is. Um, and, and I also have uh, mapped... The ability to navigate through my scenes just using these up and down keys all right and that's how i did that whole performance it's actually super super basic what it really comes down to in terms of clip looping is your ability to set your controller up so that it's really easy to end that you know to launch the playing of that clip so that it makes a perfect loop uh, uh, quantized right and, and, and this situation is very simple for me because it's quantized to a bar um, it's your ability to be able to do that musically and for you to be able to do that in a way that is very quick and easily accessible to whatever free limb that you have you know so with the guitar if I'm playing it with my hands that's why I have this foot controller with my keyboard my hands are right there you know it's really simple to be able to just go up and hit that button real fast okay so that's pretty much it um, I didn't want to go into uh, more advanced concepts just yet. This is just trying to get you introduced to the idea of using clips to live loop with and how you can do it in a musical fashion very fast. I'm going to be making a lot, a lot more videos about live looping. And, uh, you know, I hope you, I hope you'll watch them. If you feel like you're getting a benefit from this, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe or the, uh, the bell down there to get notified when the next one comes out. And if you're struggling getting your, your setup to work for you, um, I do offer on my Patreon page a music mentorship which can help you uh, get everything set up the way you want it um, via a one-on-one -on -one video conference with me that's monthly as well as uh, email support and everything else. So check that out too. Thanks so much everybody and uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for more live looping videos. Thanks.